What's up everyone, my name is Ibi and welcome back to my channel. So I just got this very special package in the mail. It has a handle. Wow. So this package came from Shanghai, China and then it landed in Korea. And then they went to Alaska, and now finally here it is, in New York. If you have been following my Instagram post, you may have seen me raging over the fact that it's still not here yet. So let's just get this opened up here. Alright, good, and good. So I may have gone nuts, as you may call it. Yeah. We get out of here. Oh my god! He's in the alien way a long time! So this is the box. So this is an Alienware 17 inch M the M17 laptop R3. And I just bought this off of Dell. And the box is actually really sturdy. I always feel like the box says a lot about the company because, you know, it says that it's very strong. So let's just take a look at the features of this box first. So we have this shiny, glossy Alienware logo out front. It's a very heavy box. A shiny Alienware logo along with the shiny M17. And yeah, so uh, on the side it said this is 17 inches, it has a command center, it has killer Wi-Fi 6, Cyrotech, Alien FX RGB, and GFX AMP. So, my first time seeing this beautiful object. Alright, so we have to sort of handle locking it. There is no tape on the box. So, I don't know how to get the handle out. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Aye, aye. Okay. So, we gotta sort of put it slanted in. Here we go. <gasps> there it is! It's the Alienware M17. So, we have cables here. So this is very big. This is a 240 watt power brick. There's also a power cable in there. This is massive. So now, I don't want to touch it. I touch it. Oh my god. It's so thin. And heavy. That is really heavy. Okay. And then we have this sort of social media platform thing and whatever this is so I get out of here get out of here so it's an envelope uh, instruction manual shows what it is warranty alright so nothing else in here okay most of the weight was from the box the box is mad heavy I'm gonna bring this box Alright, so here is the Alienware M17 R3. So let's talk about the design for a little bit. So this is a very thin chassis. It's actually much thinner than my old laptop. And then we have this sort of line rubber here and then these designs. And then these two are the fans for the GPU and the CPU. And then the ports we have is a micro SD card slot, two USBs, a fan or a heat sink. I think it's a fan. And then we have another fan, a uh, Ethernet port, a USB, and a headphone jack. And then on the back, we have this fan, this fan, HDMI port. I don't know what that is. Micro HDMI, I'm guessing. 
We have a Thunderbolt. This also delivers power if you need. And then we have a graphics card amplifier and regular power cord. So the laptop is remarkably thin. It's point, I mean, 22 millimeters thick. And we have this really cool big 17 up in the front, this Alienware logo. And it's made out of magnesium alloy, which is a good strong metal up here. And then we have a six cell 86 watt hour battery. I don't wanna break this. A six cell 86 watt hour battery with killer Wi-Fi 6, along with um, Bluetooth 5.1. And then this also has 512 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this model in particular, I chose the Core Intel Core i7 10th generation specifically because it's powerful and it's a, at a pretty good price range area. So this laptop has NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070, not the 2070 Super. Yes, that's higher, but like no one needs that much power. So this is the 2070 with 8 gigabytes. And yeah, so let's just hit the power button and see what happens. So this is a four zone RGB keyboard. And we also have a nice smooth glass trackpad here. It actually feels really nice. And this keyboard is actually one of my favorites. I really like the way it clicks. All right, let's hit that power button. Nothing. Keep in mind, this was in shipment for like four days, so you might get nothing over here. Oh, whoa! <gasps> He's so nice. Let's just peel this plastic off. Actually, I don't want to peel that off because I don't want to get scratches on it. Alright, that is really nice. I really like the startup and everything. This is the moment. So the screen is, um, it gets up to 300 nits, I believe. Right? 300 nits, yeah. And it also has one, 144 Hi there. hertz. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. That's actually a really a good speaker. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Well, Use you your voice quickly. or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Can you leave me if quiet? If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to... I killed it. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm going to get this set up. We're going to check out the frame per second in a game. And this also comes with, I believe, Rainbow... What, what was that? Rainbow Six Sage. So a couple of things I noticed while setting this beautiful thing up was um, the Windows license agreement, it made you stuck there and it was just loading forever. So I had to contact the customer service and then they said to hit the power button for 30 seconds and it fixed it. So this monitor is pretty big and it's a 14.4 hertz refresh rate thing with a 3 millimeters response rate I believe. And then we also have 300 nits color gamut. So we go open up the control center here. So I have set up my favorite colors over here. Purple, blue, orange, and green. And then we also have blue and orange on the back. So with this control center, you could do over overclocking. You could set the thermals, which is the fans, which sounds like a plane going up and down. You can set up the audio, and you could also change the power to high performance or lower lower performance. So we could head over to the library. So when we head over to the library, you can set up your own games and put your own settings with them as well. Which is actually pretty smart, I like that. And then with the fusion, it does get pretty warm quickly though. So sometimes you'd want to turn on the fan to performance level, you know, just to cool it down. I'd recommend about 45 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Even 60 is too hot, but yeah. So when we head over to FX, we also have lighting choices and the macro keys. So say I just head over to this keyboard here, I can change up the lighting to whatever I want. So say I want this section to be green, now it's green. 
But if you get the per key Alienware FX keyboard, then you can change the color per key, which is really cool. But I only have the four zone, along with the back. You can also head over to the back. Let's see right here, and then just put whatever color you want on the back of it as well, which is pretty neat as well. My favorite colors are blue and orange, so I just keep it like that. So yeah. Alright, so we're just going to test out some gaming, because it's called a gaming laptop, so why not? So let's just connect my Xbox controller real quick. Okay, power this thing on. Turn it, put it in search mode. Now, we should have connection. This is Bluetooth 5.1, which is the latest Bluetooth. Which is actually pretty good, and along with Killer Wi-Fi 6. So it is pretty future-proof. Alright. So it's been connected. Now we're going to play some Asphalt 8. For some reason the Windows key doesn't work. Okay, let's go. So Asphalt 8 Airborne. 20 years. That's actually a long time. I played this when I was very little. On my old laptop, when it was very slow. Right, so we're just gonna bring this out here. And then do the chair away. Alright. So it looks good. Everything looks fine. Need to focus on this. Alright, perfect. Play, career, and classic. So we're going to see how the CPU and the GPU can handle this kind of gaming and stuff. This is not the greatest game, but this is a pretty good game. So the colors are very smooth, and this screen is 14 for 144Hz, along with 300 nits brightness. So I really like the colorfulness and everything. Oops, I just accidentally crossed myself. So it is really nice and works really well. So, let's see. The CPU is taking up about 20, 30, 10%, 5%. That's because I'm not really playing. Let me get some gameplay real quick. Fly in the air. Get some CPU. Okay, 12%, 7%, 5%. And then the RAM is at 47%, along with the GPU is at 6%. It's not bad. This is not a demanding game, so since this is actually a pretty good game, that it can handle really powerful games. And even if you overclock it, it's going to be even more powerful. But there are some sacrifices to that. So here's what the keyboard looks like close up. Looks pretty nice. We have four zone lighting. One, two, three, four. And each of these makes a nice keyboard colored setting. We have a hexagon shaped fan grill up here. And then we have a nice little Alien Wheel logo in the corner. We also have this trackpad which is very smooth and made out of glass. I really like this. An open space along with another open space and a sticker. So in the end, everything has a downside. For this, one downside would be a very sad downside is the battery. The battery lasts about three hours with average daily use. And another downside would be probably this heat. It does get pretty hot very quickly, but that's manageable with the Alienware command center built in. So we can just head over to thermal and change the fan speed to whatever you want. Right now it's pretty hot, so I might as well just change it to performance. And yeah, so. The trackpad is kind of off to the left. I'm not really used to that. For me, I like it on the center, but that depends on the type of person you are. If you like it on the left, cool. If you like it on the right, yeah. And if you like it on the center, you might as well get some use to. So, yeah, but the price range for this is actually very expensive, which is pretty sad for most people. This thing is worth $2,000, about. So, you can buy this from the Dell website for about $2,000 with all of this configurations. 
Thank you for watching. As always, product link is down below. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and maybe even subscribe. I hope I'll see you in the next one.